Hello, and welcome back to Children of Morda. I'm Odia Brandis, and we are back in the Silk Caverns 1 with good old John here. Back into the full version of Children of Morda, which is coming out in next uh, next week, I should mention again here. And uh, it's a very cool game. Let's get, let's get deeper. We're going to Silk Caverns 2 now, which last time in the demo, we got this far, but we didn't complete it. The thinnest strands of white fibers coated the ground and walls, evidence of the Silk Caverns living up to their name. Yes, Silk Caverns, a lot of silk. I get it. A lot of spiders. I get it. Uh, last time we got to the boss of this area, though, which was a spider, obviously. And uh, we didn't win? What was this all about? What are you doing to me? Oh, God. This is, that's tough. Not kidding around. Reckless Charm. Let's do this. Let's. This is a Reckless Charm. Increases critical hit chance. Let's do this. I just restore some health. Instant health. Restore. Might as well do it. Oh, big spider. He's doing it. Oh, he's putting more out there. That's why this is an ending. So we got through it. We got through it. We got through it. It's got intense. Gotta time my, uh, my special moves, I think. Nice. Okay, this is a big problem because he's got spikes right there. Nice. Okay. So, if I get sucked into this thing and roll away, we should be fine. Oh, you again, huh? More back. Alright, I got a, sh I got a charm here, so I probably just use it. We have no idea what will be any of these things, so might as well just try it out. Find out. The problem is I take the shield down to do that attack, and I get hit by guys. Getting a little damaged here. Gotta take care of mama here. There we go. There's some health down there if I can get down to it. Need it. Probably should use this critical hit chance uh, upgrade at some point. Oh, I have an uh, upgrade here. Uh, I need two for this. I need level four to get one of these unlocked. We'll get a little two for that here in a minute. Ooh, what is this guy? Nice. All right. Moving on. We'll figure out what this does eventually. Let's go down this way. And it's hopefully not getting into a big fight like that again. Right now, anyways. What is this? Heaven's justice. Call forth the sword of divine of the divine to damage enemies. Ooh. The missile is a big area of effect, though. 
If it's a sword sword, like I'm going to have an increased sword damage. I don't know. If it's a different kind of sword that flies around, I could just get and try it out. Eh. That could be cool. I think this being range is better. I don't know. It doesn't say which one's stronger or not. So it's all based on my own damage. Then I like the, I like the projectile better. Because it gets it away from me. Uh, okay. We fully explored the map so far, which is good. That's pretty good. That guy's gonna attack when he stands still. He flies around and then he stands still for a second, and that's where that's where Bats the Bats right happening. When he stands still. I haven't figured out how those guys attack yet. But we will. The next hit. That's the one downside with this. Is that the projectile can miss, then I'm out of luck. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, he's running more guys. I gotta take him out first. Good, 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 good. Okay. Let's not open that up yet. Let's fully explore. Oh, hi, guys. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. My shield's down. We're in a little bit of trouble here. Shield down again. God. I think the shield damage is based on my own level. So like the stamina runs out. Quickly, if I'm not as strong. All right. Well, we've gotten everything here. And we can go up or to the east. North or to the east. Let's go this way. There shouldn't have though. Oh boy. One of these guys again. Let's bring him away. It's gonna be very, very bad. Well, that's good stuff at least. I still need health badly though. We are in a bit of trouble. Forty-four health. Oh my god. Well, that's good. That's 
great that's great that's great the 77 now what is this guy oh i want to read it can't do that if i'm, getting, uh, if I'm under attack Spiral of Doom, cast a magical stone. Mas cast a magical stone that spirals outward from you toward the end of the 70s. Let's try this. I like that. Not only the explosive powers of the other one, but. something oh uh, there we go okay this looks like a dead end And we only through, went through one of the doors, too. We have to go back to the other door. Because there was something back there, right? Up here, yeah. North. The gate looked a little weird. I mean, this is how the gates look. So this is the exit door. We can teleport back to this room then. Okay, that's good to know. And that's the boss door, it looks like. So let's get leveled up here. Do I have a good weapon for the boss? I don't know. The boss was very difficult from what I saw. It's It was very, very difficult. We probably will die, just so you know. We'll have to do this whole thing again. I don't know what this is. Not all in the caves were refugees. Okay. Some were just traveling merchants stuck in a bind. After 38 kills. Awesome. Anything else? Oh my god. Level two. The strange looking Oof. shopkeep dusted <gasps> off his clothes. Hello? Tipped his hat. He invited them to stop by his shop later, promising something for all adventuring needs. Oh, uh, uh, from now on, he will appear in the dungeons offering goods at a fourth price. Oh, cool. Good job. Okay. Uh, so spare time resets the cooldowns for all your abilities, fills your rage. Fills my rage. I have rage? I don't think I have rage. I'm a very calm, cool, and collected guy. I don't think that's going to help me that much. Because I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of abilities. I only have the one. It says reset the cooldown for all of my abilities. I don't think it's gonna help us that much compared to the spiral, which seems to do a fair bit of damage. Okay, so if I hold down T, I can get back. If we're ready. And we're as ready as we're gonna be. Did I get all of the chests I can? Okay, it looks like I did. So uh, let's mosey on. Let's see how we do. This is a boss room. Well, that's full health for me. Get all we can before we get killed. If I didn't have full health, I'd have it now. Okay. So, are we ready? 
All eight eyes oh boy. studied the one so willing to walk into their own tomb. Oh boy. Here we go. What's it gonna do? Okay, summon guys. Got a little damage on it. Oh, we gotta run away from that. Increase the hill trivet chance. Oh, we gotta move. We gotta move. Go! Oh. oh my god! I need, I need health. I need health. I need health. Okay. The Bergson began to slip away, wondering if this was death. <sighs> oh boy, that's tough. We have the shop gear rescued at least, though. Didn't get very, didn't get very far though with this. I don't know that boss fight's tough. I gotta dodge better. I think he's the right character for this, though. But I gotta dodge better with that, that final battle there. I don't know. All right, continuing on. They gasped for air as the celestial shard brought them back. A sensation no hero could become accustomed to. Okay, John's back. He may be injured, though. I don't know how this works exactly. As she heard John and Linda describe their foray, thoughts rushed through Margaret's head. The corruption had amplified the creature's wickedness, and no longer were they part of the harmony of the Rhea. With the new threats looming, Margaret asked Ben to prepare his workshop. He would workshop. have to take charge of enhancing the warrior family's weapons yes. and armor. Please. Oh, I wonder if I could spend money on upgrades now. Because that would be helpful. Give me through that area faster and, and more defense, hopefully. Okay, Uncle Ben can upgrade and enhance the Vergen's equipment. Uncle Ben reached out to the familiar warmth of the forge. If they were to reach the top of Mount Mortar, their equipment would need to be of the highest quality. All right, Vergen's upgraded their gear to grow stronger. So... Uncle Ben uses Morv to upgrade the entire the entire family's weapons and armor, increasing their main attributes. Oh, it's, um, these are the family's main attributes. Attribute description is the selected attributes panel over on the right panel. Okay, I dig it. Uh, press space to on the available tribute to upgrade it, and uh, it's, so I want to upgrade. Yeah, I want to do that. Upgrades armor. It's two hundred for the next level. So this is max health. Movement speed might be good. Primary damage. These are all locked. Let's go put a level in each. Now we're going to specialize. Damage or armor. What's Book of Rhea? I don't know yet. Uh, we can do one more. Looks like. Let's get armor up. All right, that should help me progress further. That battle, I don't know if it would help me, but I think the damage would help me more in that battle, but because taking the little guys and dodging out of the way, movement speed might help too. All of it probably help. We can get agility, dodge chance, rage gain. I don't know what rage is yet. We don't, we don't have that unlocked yet. Uh, decreases the effects of all movement during attacks. That's nice. Increases the Bergson's critical hit damage and increases the cr critical hit chance. Oh, awesome, good stuff. All right. What is the, uh, what is going on around here? So there's a little thing above Linda, it looks like. Going over here. Oh, he's, char he's, he's sharpening his sword. Good idea. I like this. You have a little training area. All right, what does she have to say? 
Nothing could quite match the calm that Linda felt when playing her violin. Mm -hmm. Its sublime sound, the perfect counter to the nerve-wracking uncertainty and chaos. Cool. I like that. That's a neat way to explore character. Um, that's about all I can explore at the moment, though. I can read the library. I can go to the back of the chapter select. Let's get back into it with John again here. We'll get it started at least. And explore the first floor of the Silk Caverns again. With some upgraded abilities. Oh, there's three levels now. Their webs litter the ground, walls, and ceiling. Oh, okay. Let's take John again. So now we have much more. He's got still level two now, though. So now it is harder to progress because we need to get three levels. And again, uh, maybe the third level is just the boss fight. We did get the three levels before. So the cameras want to do. Okay, so it is. So there's three levels there. The boss fight being one of them. Got it. Okay. Well, when we start, are we level one again? Looks like it. Do I have, I have two points here? Oh, no, it's permanent. It's permanent increases. Family trait after spending enough skill points, each family member unlocks their own unique set of family traits. Family traits benefit all other family members as well. If a family member grows in power, so does the entire family. Increases the max health of all over, over all the family members. That's great. Increases John's armor and Guardian's rage. This is what we're doing next time. More armor. Yes. I love it. This is this is gonna be so cool. So everything should be a little easier now. Everything should be a little easier now. I wonder if armor is his uh, shield meter. We don't get a lot of money from each of those chests, but it is, it is, oh, careful. Um, I mean, we should be able to get an upgrade at the end of this, this run here. More of these guys this time around. Less, uh, Shelton. I say that, but now, now look. Nice. Cleanse. Gotta swing the right direction, please. Kind of a key thing. As long as you swing in the right direction, you can you can knock them back. Uh let's keep going down this direction. Before wandering back. Ways to increase the amount of money you gain. There's gotta be, because the stuff's gonna be very expensive later on. Alright. that more often I think I'm not not the cool one's only five seconds I could be using it a lot more often any group of enemies I should use it right away to weaken them I'm not doing too badly though this is just floor one though I didn't fully really explore that area but we'll wait we'll come back I think maybe that's the way to do it Go through once, just quickly, and then explore back through to find the stuff you missed. Let's open her up. That works nicely. Upgraded now, it takes him out. 
All right. So we know there's a little health back that way. We know there's a door this way. I think now is a good time to retreat and recover my steps here and uh, make sure I got everything. We have a health waiting there for us if we need it. way i'm really liking this game though this is gonna be good i love how i love the up i love just roguelite uh upgrades like that and i love the way they handled the uh the family aspect of it that everyone can get benefit from uh one person increasing the strength i think it's really cool steps were taken without regret Ooh. for it was never possible to change a destiny unknown what do I do? I just select one thing. This is like a, just a mushroom shop kind of thing of uh, Mario, right? You just pick the one you want to get. Maybe you get something good. Maybe you get something bad. I don't know. How would I know the difference? How is it different from a normal chest when I can't see what the other contents are? I just know what I missed out on. All right. So I think we've explored this direction here. Can I, can I warp back to... What are these things? Didn't say yet. All right. But I'm guessing we just keep progressing through the game here. We'll eventually, you know, I like that it's, there's, there's, you'll always get powerful enough to defeat certain things here. I think it's going to take some skill to get through the bosses though. More than it will through the other things. You can't just grind your way up to higher, uh, higher tier loot. I guess you could. Well, we, 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 sh we should have kept forward going forward for a second there. Uh, I don't like that one, but I'm gonna take it because it's the only thing we have. Until we find something better. Okay, well now at least we've explored this whole area here. And uh, we're gonna move on to the next floor, but I will say it's time to wrap up this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed Children of Morta. I think it's gonna be a fun one. I think it'll be a lot of fun to explore this game and uh, see how it goes. But uh, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Or we'll leave a like if you want to see more of this on the on the channel here. Help support the series early on, though, really important. And I'll be back for another episode probably tomorrow. So, have a good night.